to part 19 of our galactic history. This is Lance White with Andrew Bartzis. How you doing? Welcome back. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, we left off with the fourth pyramid fortification and the return of the Lemurians who were leapfrogging, then leapfrogging forth through time with their air cities. And, and who was here at the time? They were remaking contracts with the Earth. Well, Are they Lemuria goes, we're here. Okay. What is in Earth when Lemuria goes is here is a leftover species of refugees who did not go with the light or the dark but chose Earth, but still had the technology and the influence left over of that captured time. The multidimensional beings were trees, were sentients, were, were here and bringing technology here too secretly and embedding it within mountain structures so no one could detect it because everyone had their little secret stores here. So at this layer, Lemurians go, we're back, and all of a sudden all these other air cities that I described that are in the North Pole and the South Pole begin reappearing in the North Pole and South Pole and start dreaming again with Earth. And as they dream, they can spread forward into the omnidirectional field of universal time, identify where all the, all the other lost air cities are and bring them back. Because mm. it's always about getting back to the beginning where they could reassert their species within these time timeline concept wars. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden Lemuria is back, but there's corruption on the surface graduating timeline. They're thinking they're going to graduate a bunch of people, mm -hmm. it's all going to be fine and dandy. Well, war's on. War inside, war outside. Wow. So Lemurians were ready for the arrival of the Dark Forces and used an energy defense grid that basically just kept expanding and expanding the more energy they put into it. So the omnidirectional field of our sun increased 10,000 times. Mm. So nothing could enter our solar system or get in unless they had specific codes. Mm. The multidimensional beings said, okay, we're going to be the mafia. We're going to trade codes to the dark guys to get in so they do our work for us. Mm. That's Lemuria's fall, teleportation of the planet, fortification number five, the bringing of the Archons. Okay, fortification five, okay, is when the Archons and are brought from the multidimensional beings, systems of clusters of domination and control they had in the far off sections. Right. They took entities that were in mid fourth, gen mid fourth density, fourth vibration, whatever you want to call that, mass invested fake ceremonial energies in them because they had already created those systems just like the dark guys did mm -hmm. and gave them the god complex and then shot them across the galaxy in an energy form until they went splat into earth's mm -hmm. uh incarnation grid which was this omnidirectional field from the sun okay. the sun said all right you have dna linkage to those that are on earth you're allowed in so Ooh. that's how they get in wow. and then they incarnate take the first body and begin to cause mass corruption within the Lemurian society because they are an omnidirectional field of, of entropy. Mm. Because timeline, timeline war is about entropy and, and co-entropy and how paradox is staved off. So once mm. paradox happens, it ends and it returns to what it was before the paradox began. Mm. And if you start valuing in that the planet's teleporting, all these paradoxes, all these the timeline tangents end, and you have to find the new XY axis and start over again. Mm. So Archon's here. They rapidly take over the planet and Lemurians corruption entropy field, they're gone. Their timeline to get back here is, is seat severed. Uh. Multidimensional beings then mass incarnate themselves and become forty percent of the breeding population. Mm. This okay. is when they're about eighty billion of the 89 billion people in the world and 40 40 percent of them are the multi-dimensional beings wow and the purpose for that was to uh be soul family fam to everyone because that's the type of domination or control that they were instilling okay which they had done on other worlds ah. mastered here mastered here this was when they actually this was their no mistakes here no they, <laughs> they had refined it to the point where yes okay the predictive science made it really easy because their goal is to lower the planet, lower the planet, lower the planet in energy. Therefore, all those high-powered dark and light beings had to send smaller minion forces and smaller dimensional forces and small and less trained forces to get in and do the same job that the big guys could do with one thought. Mm. You, you lower the you lower the iris, 
and lower the iris, and only the entities that are in with that vibratory pattern of that iris can get in. So everything else has to puppet control inside there. Mm. So it's kind of like the the eye. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's that's the technological eye or the false eye. Correct. That is uh, is controlling things, mm -hmm. and that's also on the dollar bill. Correct. False seeing eye. That's when the big institution of sacred geometry city, the H sacred geometry linguistics, that everything that was a science to limit was created and then instituted in series to step down the consciousness from higher to lower to lower to lower. And that's when they And then the actual right. pyramid control rooms would be used to step down the actual energy. Propaganda would be brought in, domination would be brought in that lowers the energy even more, grid lowered again and again and again. And at what point did the Archons, so they incarnated physically into people. And then became energy beings afterwards, ascended inside. Okay, uh, so the, are they like ascended? They essentially took over the position of the headmaster that allows graduation. Okay. That gives you the paperwork. Mm -hmm. And they also took over the spiritual courts of equity. How did they? How did they get rid of the beings that were in those roles? That's, that's what they do. That's what they do. <laughs> right. That's what they do. Yeah. So where you had an organic uh, incarnation process that was working through spiritual equity, correct? You then had the archons then incarnating and then expanding out into controllers with a, with control of the spiritual court, correct? For incarnation and all, and that's when they uh, are inserting fine print Correct. into the soul contracts. So rather than coming in, having a soul plan and, and working it all out, you choose your family or however you, that happens, and then you have a, an experience and you graduate, you get to leave, mm -hmm. they then lock down the uh, ascension process. Correct. And so those souls that are coming in start repeating uh, karmic lessons mm -hmm. and having further karma uh, leaped uh, heaped onto them. Correct. Debt. And debt, right? And then the then the uh, the dark side or the fifteen beings have fun, you know, turning up the volume on you know drugs, sex, mafia, this and that, and political control, wars, exactly. uh, explosions of atomic bombs, secret underground bases which of course already existed because they incarnated into the, the mountains and so on and so forth. Yep. Excluding Telos and the renegade uh, groups which had been able to keep them from... Take, took over Hollow Earth. Okay. Multidimensional beings and the Lemurians never took over Hollow Earth. The okay. Hollow Earth was the sentience that was the sacred neutral sentience that is the original um, soul family to Earth. Uh, when Earth was made a planet. Okay, so in terms of uh, who we would organically align with in terms of the the highest vibration, it would be those beings in the whole Earth. Earth. Correct. Okay. Though the they've migrated in and out, but they migrated to keep their species going, to uh, make sure there was always a complete soul code of the original species species, all of them, in a in a our, museum of sorts <laughs> i mean it's not a museum it's it's a place to live but yeah. they have everything that's existed on earth there yeah. everything's been saved in there okay so I including extinct species correct uh they exist in the hollow earth and do they exist also above and uh, beyond somewhere on other planets but as long okay. as they exist in the hollow earth they can once again be respawned through the womb chakras and then be given uh, out back again and who controls the womb chakras now well, no one really controls them. They're they're under under they're suppressed earth energy right now. Okay. And if they were allowed to naturally form, consciousness would expand there a million fold. So that's why they put war on them. The destruction and debt and and fake dream cities and, and all the other yeah. technology on top of them. So every major city is a is a uh, is a grid that's Basically, if you want to be controlled, go to the big cities. Correct. <laughs> and and any city that well, they've all been corrupted, even Correct. the even the small. Though, as soon as you change the energy grid, the the, the sacred geometry negati negativity in those cities can be retasked. Okay. It, it wouldn't be a difficult job, and in fact, there'll be many many people that 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 raise their hand right away for volunteering. 
to to re re-engineer re it re-engineer right to uh, a, a high energy system right. to uh, with the foundation piece is already there they just have to make new circuitry connections okay okay all right and so all of the places where there is current warring is most likely a a, a valuable piece of property uh, a spiritual that, property exactly and it, that's being suppressed it can't be destroyed Technically, well, it if you be. if you nuke it, you did what the Lemurians and Atlanteans mm -hmm. did to get the multidimensional beings off. They decided to nuke those places, mm -hmm. knowing full well that it would be harming multidimensional beings on many levels. Mm -hmm. But they had no choice. How do you get the corruption out? Scorch and burn. Huh. Wow. Knowing that they their timeline would end and they can come back and do it again. Right. Right. So there have been nuclear battles. Even worse than nuclear. Even worse. Yeah. Probably uh, technological designs that are way more... Way bit, just incineration of flesh and all the technology is left. Wow. Wow. Or disintegration of, of flesh. Wow. And that technology still exists in the hands of... Everyone. Everyone. They just don't use it. <laughs> Why not? It serves no purpose. You kill the graduating class. Then Everybody wants do. us. They and want this graduating class. It's bloated, full of people that need to get out of here. Right. And, of course, Prime Creator has a say right. because there's an original uh, plan, plan right. that has gotten so corrupted and polluted. Mm -hmm. and that because of free will. Because, uh, right. And, that was, and, and it was the restraint of the upper creators to not use their free will to go in and allow us to solve it. Even though the few times they came in, which was to set up the Council of Twelve, which was to give a set of rules that... <laughs> Eventually they all broke, <laughs> right. but it was at least to give it a theme <laughs> instead of the craziness that it was. <laughs> and then, of course, the Council of Twelve got perverted. And exactly. Yeah, it was, we've t talked about that already. And presently, uh, so where we're, okay, where we're at now is that the Council of Twelve is um, being reconfigured. They would have been made in the same time as the Archon Grid, but... They weren't given the task by Prime Creator until 490,000 years ago. Okay. All right. So this brings us to the for the we now the fourth pyramid fortification. Is has that taken us to the fifth? We're already in the fifth. We're in the fifth. Fifth is a creation of the Archon Grid. Ah. Okay. And a refortification of the grid, so it makes it even more difficult to right. incarnate here. Okay. Which gives new layers of control to the spiritual courts of equity. And so this is like an, ex I, I was going to use the word acceleration, this is like a, a rapidification of the densification process Correct. Correct. at around the sixth fortification Correct. layer of the Correct. pyramid. Okay. So in between the fifth and sixth, Lemuria raises and falls right. again. Okay, and is that the second? Fall? Second raise and fall. Okay. Third raise, fall. Okay. In between this okay. process. Because they had been locked out of the time war, right. and had to go once again <laughs> figure out in the, in where in the universe the planet was, and then right. relink to its dream time grid and bring everyone back in so they could assert their tangent timeline again. Okay, now where did the where did the Atlanteans come in? They don't meet the the, the Lemurians meet jump into a time where Atlantis, who was a new time traveling community, <laughs> just happened to figure it out a little bit before the Lemurians. Oh. So they're there. They race quickly, but all of a sudden, Lemurians go, we're here. Hey, who are you? And that's when they go, oh, you're our descendants. And they go, wait, you're our ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a big war. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So they all just randomly meet, and the dark eyes meet, <laughs> all at the same time. Wow. Well, yeah. the, the, was there any accident in that? No. No, 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 no. It's synchronicity on a grandest scale. On the grandest scale. So this is a, like, okay. All the while, the multidimensional beings out there pulling the strings to make these guys fight even harder. Right, because they want that to happen. They want that to happen. They want the fall of Atlantis and Lemuria because they... They get the technology, the souls, and the incarnation grid, and the fortifications. Wow. And then the Archons are busy, you know... Filtering out, I don't like you, your soul group's not cool, you're cool, get in. Wow. So, uh, so f from this uh, from this period, we have a time when the when the incarnational process has been thoroughly corrupted, and nobody's graduating, and uh, then they're deciding who comes in and who goes, and they're and they're adding fine print to the soul contract. They're also booting uh, incoming souls that are reincarnating, mm -hmm. 
uh, in from where they had probably planned out, oh, I've got this family and I'm mm -hmm. going to do this. And then at the last second, they're booted over to a dysfunctional family where their life lessons are, you know, uh, pedophilia and drug use and uh, slavery. slavery and for, you know, so on and so forth. Yep. Okay. Bait and, and switch. Bait and switch. And so that's been going on for a long time. time. And now we have super soldiers and uh, targeted individuals. It's, it's just ra it's ramping up, and it's like uh, the it's like a spiritual being eating itself. Yep, cannibals. Cannibals, and nobody wins in that sense. Nope. That's why the prime creator did the timeout. That's why he did the audit. That's why he's doing the walk-ins. Okay, and the walk-ins are coming in now. Correct. Meaning uh, 2013, uh, June of 2013 on, and the this whole time period is the is the is the when the monopoly game is scheduled to end, right? It's like the the bank is out of money, <laughs> right. monopoly, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, mom's and saying go to bed. <laughs> the bank is out of money, and mom says go to bed. Yeah. And you, and you just landed on my boardwalk. And I don't, okay. <laughs> right. So this is the moment we're in. And even though it looks as if life is going on as usual, and the banks are still there, yep. and the Vatican still s controls, supposedly, mm -hmm. and the Queen still has all her jewels, mm -hmm. and the Rothschilds and Rockefellers and whoever else is, you know, pulling mm -hmm. the strings, and the Archons are reincarnating, you know, leftovers mm -hmm. that are, and soul pools, generic soul pools, and then, you know, yep. incarnating astral shells. Right? Mm -hmm. So those are ones that didn't graduate that are probably of the dark nature. And they're giving them life and sentience so that they can work on the dark side. Exactly. You're getting it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, this is going to be an interesting time, no matter how you slice it. <laughs> right. Multi-dimensional cake. Right. Right. Okay. So we're at the sixth. The seventh dimensional frosting. Seventh dimensional frosting, yeah, right, right. Um, so this is the sixth fortification and the seventh fortification of the pyramid Correct. structure. Okay. Um, now, what happens at the seventh and the eighth? Because it goes to the ninth, right? Okay. In between the seventh and eighth, Earth is teleported three more times. Whew. Okay. Wow. Each time being wounded heavily. Because that's a, a pain, that's a difficult process. It wasn't a natural unity consciousness drive. Somebody ripped it out of its place with the several dozen planetary consciousness can come together and psychically attack a planet and rip it out of its reality and then plant it in a new reality. Just like picking a seedling up out of the ground and putting it somewhere else. Wow. Yeah. And the, was this a totally unexpected... Uh... It was a natural play, a move. Okay. A move by the light and the dark because they both did it. Oh. And then the multidimensional beings were able to do it on a much more polluting way, on purpose. Okay, how did so they... the light forces and the dark forces tried to limit the damage, but ultimately the damage was severe anyways. Hmm. The multidimensional, the 15 multidimensional beings, they did it in such a way that it was damaging and very polluting to the environment. So that they could limit even more people and kick people more and more people out of the incarnation grid that they had to go back into the machine and go to other parts to experience of the 66 other planets. Said, now nah, the game's closed for a while, get out, no, clo uh, no, no admittance, no vacancies. <laughs> oh. So does this have anything to do with the technology that creates uh, weather and, and that we don't get we into that? Weather, so? weather is consciousness control. Chemtrails is to create weather and to insert fear and whatever fear porn they want to add on top of it. When they change weather and they target a city, the weather goes over the city, can help harvest the energy more, to bring more energy in, to bring pain, death, destruction, whatever. Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm, is to mine mm -hmm. your consciousness and to affect your consciousness. That's why there's right. weather control wars. Okay. It amplifies their MK axis. Okay. And then uh, that has to do with artificial intelligence, monitors every, literally everything is being... And that's how I adjust and massage the data by creating weather patterns. Right. Right, and then that gets back to this, the uh, etheric uh, controls, this, the etheric satellites, yes. and the twenty and the control rooms that are that are psychically linked to everything, and, and, create, and create the predictive modelings. Predictive modelings, right, right. Okay, so uh, at the eighth juncture, Atlantis is on its second fall. 
Atlantis is on its second fall. And this is when Atlantis realizes the, the trial of the Lemurians is the same trial of them. That's when they're the same ancestors, but each experience each other differently. Okay, well, the Atlantids trying to create a first species. The Lemurians, all the dark force and all the light force, all try to create a first species. Yeah. And the, Lem and the Atlanteans are suddenly realizing all these other time-traveling forces that decided not to overinvest. They just wanted one little mission okay. to get their seed in there and then hit, hide it somewhere in a local reality until finally the machine was near done grinding everyone up and their, their seed would survive. Mm -hmm. Just like a coconut floating on the ocean takes root on an island and grows. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It could take seven years for that coconut to grow. Mm -hmm. Many smaller species were doing that on Earth. That's mm -hmm. why there's 72. Mm. So all of them amalgamate into the soul families of Earth, mm -hmm. and then all the soul families migrating to Earth, interbreed with that, interbreed with the multidimensional beings, and you have what we are today, 2,300 pri 2, primary soul families, 2,300 separate races, all mass invested. Mm. So everybody's got a a stake in the game with a skin suit origin that earth created to have to be the ferrari yeah and but we're riding around in a broken down uh <laughs> ferrari with uh forty dollar wheels and <laughs> broken windows <laughs> yeah <laughs> rust yeah and, and holes in the floor Four. where the flintstones mm -hmm. are trying to am fm you know right right it's a piece of junk it's a piece of junk it's a hoopty Okay, and and most of us realize that this is what's happened because we there's it seems like there's literally no way out, no matter how you. There's turn. always been a way out, claiming of your sovereignty. Well, okay, that that brings up, and that's why Atlantis and Lemuria were such powerful societies, uh, and why so many of us, even though we come with a clean slate, and heavily remember it because it's so impressive in the Akashic records. And when you dream, you can dream in the Akashic records. You can. Okay. And that's where you come back, and that's how you have the knowledge of Atlantis and Lemuria in your own heart. And when you read books that other people do, that it connects to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, where are the... Okay. So we're at the eighth pyramid. Mm -hmm. this, is when, this is where the Atlanteans got serious about creating control rooms ah. that would take the weapon systems away weapons uh. and defensive systems away from any future sentience. They expanded the control rooms faster than the multidimensional beings could recover from what was uh. going on. And at that point, they created all these additional control rooms, all these control features. You had to be, everyone had to be soul family, and all 2,300 species, 2,200 species had to be represented in the control rooms in unity consciousness. Okay. Knowing that the two forces were all enforcing disunity, disunity, disunity. Okay. Okay, good. So they made it very difficult to take over all of them. Okay, and how many control rooms are there? Forty. Forty. And the fifteen? Have to, well, twenty-one, but there's both light and dark within them. Okay. And then there's nineteen that they don't know where they're at. They're locked out and controlled by the Hollow Earth or Garth Network. Okay. So it, it seems that um, if that the game at this point, part of the game would be for uh, gaining access and control of those 21. Correct. Uh, they've probably given up on the 19 because they're not... Accepted. They still, they're always trying to get trying them out. To, always, always trying. trying. They're looking for a chink in the armor. Okay. And so we're the armor. Okay. We're the graduating timeline. They're the ones they are beaten up for your lunch money and to see if anyone's going to come up to stop you. Uh, uh, okay, right. So the more that they can attack us, the more they can find out who's protecting us. There you go. Oh, very clever. The shakedown up here. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that seems like a good place to leave off uh, here, and then when we return, we'll get in. We'll segue from the eighth to the ninth fortification pyramid. And fortification. the last teleportations. And the last teleportations. Okay, the ninth. Okay. All right. We shall return.